Agassi is warming up with Johan Creek as they prepare for the next men's match out there. Andre Agassi. 40 love. At whom you look, his opponent, Johan Creek. It's 1-1 in the first set. Agassi serving 40 love. His topspin shots, Pat, will help him a lot in his win because that topspin brings the ball down more quickly. 40-15. So particularly when he's with the win, when some players have difficulty getting the ball to stay in court, he, with the extra topspin, can bring that ball back down more successfully. See, he's looking up saying, where's that win now? Which way is it going? He's playing a very difficult gentleman, 40, 30. Johan Krieg, unpredictable, very talented, moves extremely well. He can make any shot from any part of the court. So you just don't know what he's going to try to do. Sometimes he does things at an unusual time. Like a client in that respect. in the first set. Agassi leads two games to one. That's in, in the players' lines. They do keep getting younger and younger, don't they? <laughs> That's Paul Anacone's son. What a cute little guy. We're watching knock that ball around. Now we watch some big guys that aren't so cute knock the ball around. Creek in the near court. Agassi in the far court. Love 15. Looking at that youngster with the tennis racket in his hand. That is about how big Agassi was the first time we saw him in Las Vegas. He started playing when he was two. Ball! Left 30. Left 30. That was the second double fault by Creek. can put some pressure on you. And he really can. 15-30. And he's very quick. Very athletic. Agassi also very quick. Creek in the third round. The winner of this match will play the winner of the match between Wilkerson and Chang. That is taking place right now out on court 30, 16. 40. We heard it mentioned that Tim Wilkerson won the first set, but Chang was up early in the second set. Break point now for Andre Agassi. Dude. usual variety of pets, yeah. <laughs> including a cockatoo, two Los Ipsos, or Yorkshire Terrier, and a pet python. Hey, what's the python's name? Monty. Monty. What'd you, what'd you think? <laughs> I hope they got a big house. Chang out on court 16. Three all in the second. Wilkinson won the first set. 
look where Agassi stand to serve way over by the single sideline just to make the opponent think a little bit. You know, personal note, I get that all those animals make you think my brother Doug has got baboons, he's got 300 birds, that's his business. He's got rias, all that stuff in his backyard. He and Johan Creek ought to get together. Well, they live close by. Tell you what, that wind I thought was going away, but it was just uh, for a brief vacation. It's back. And perhaps as hard or as gusty as it's been all day. Uh, can make some of the most sensational shots and then make some of the worst mistakes. Very frustrating. Of course, uh, got to the semis here in 1980. The semis of the French a couple of years ago. starting to fill up as they drift over from the grandstand and the outer court to watch this young man who has captured the imagination of just about every tennis fan anywhere. Lozano beats Perez Roldan and he will play Jimmy Connors next. Roldan was, uh, Perez Roldan was seated 12th here. About third. Not to take any away from Lozano, but Perez Roldan basically is a clay quarter at this stage. He's a youngster from Argentina and a good one. But he likes to stay back, and that makes the task a little more difficult on a faster surface. not necessarily just trying to go for it simply because the ball the toss is blown around so much so three break points I think most tennis fans know by now that Andre likes to have a good time and interplay with the crowd he says it's tougher to do it in the stadium because they're farther away off the good return off a good serve by Creek it's a break for Agassi. Four games to two. There is Ilya Nastasi. Speaking of talent, boy, wasn't he loaded? Yes, indeed. And you know, the guy just loves the game. I mean, he comes out all the time. You'll see him around all the different courts, watching the different people play. Andre is going after the first. 
first serve a little harder than he normally does or used to. He's got a little bit stronger, I think. Yeah, they list him as a 5'10", 150. I watched him the other day in the second round match. He was, this is about what he was doing. of the day's matches. Be sure to watch the U.S. Open Tennis Highlight Show tonight at 11.30 p.m. Eastern, 10.30 p.m. Central. Tim Ryan and Mary Carrillo will keep you up to date on all the latest at the Open. That's tonight here on CBS Sports. Can you imagine what Agassi would be like if he could serve like his brother-in-law? <laughs> no. Happens to be Big Pancho Gonzalez. You're familiar with that? 40, yes, uh, I'm not so sure what what's happening here, sir. You know, he took a big swipe at that thing, kept on running, going to the seat, but he missed it. Game Agassi. Game to Agassi. He leads 5-2 in the first set. We're in the first set. Yohan Creek serving at 2 5. Pat Summerall here with Tony Trabert, and just behind us is the referee emeritus, Mike Blanchard. If you have any problems, if anything arises, Mike can solve anything. He, he has all the answers. He's been around tennis a long time and one, one of the great guys. Matter of fact, he told me the other day about the Becker deal with a foot. If it was a bleeding blister, it was one thing. If it was not a bleeding blister, it was a natural loss. And, you know, too complicated for me. That's why we've got him up here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mike. Creek serving 40 love. what Pat we talked about the win it is going so hard up here that we've got to hold on to our media books not just the papers things are taped down and you can imagine what it's like for the players I got concerned when it blew your glasses off a minute ago I know it you put your pen down it goes blowing away swirl down there 15 low. it is predominantly behind Agassi you can see how Andre got here lost the first set in his second round match to Rick Leach and then came back to win these guys don't leave much in the bag do they no they don't Johan Creek went four sets with Barton Haite. In the first round, they defeated Tommy Ho, who was a Floridian, who was our youngest ever junior champion, won at Kalamazoo. Terrific prospect and a wonderful young man. It's a real test of wills out here. get in the middle and try to guess. He guessed to his left and obviously went over the top, so it's set point. Game in first set. Agassi wins the first set, six games to three. Ball change. 
We'll be back at the U.S. Open for this word from your local station. Johan Creek serving. I guess he won the first set. 6-3. Creek, Creek just hammers it. You get the feeling that he's out there to sort of butt heads with the youngster from Las Vegas. Sort of play with a touch of disdain. Love 30. 